everybody today we are going to do a revision of lesson number 6 that is birds and their bodies so now i am going to draw something yes excited so let us take pencil and paper let us start children are you doing it with me are you enjoyed the drawing now it almost complete what did we make this is the picture of a bird yes now let us have a look at some more pictures these are the pictures of different birds like first picture is of duck and and second picture is of parrot now the pictures that we drew and the these birds have so many things in common example we ask what are the features of man if i tell you to draw a man you will say it should have a face then two eyes one nose then two ears has hands and etc but what about the birds what do they have in place of arms how do these help them to fly we have hairs on our body what do what do the birds have in place of hairs yes in this lesson we are going to learn how do birds fly then about the feathers about weak beaks then feet and claws yes now about the birds birds are the animals that can fly their body is divided into head trunk and tail they have two legs and two wings they have two legs but no hands their wings are covered with feathers their mouth is called a beak their mouth is called beak but they do not have teeth at all a bird can fly because it is light in weight it has a streamlined body it has a wings that's the reason birds can fly because they are light in weight it has a streamlined body and it has a wings this is the picture of a bird birds have this shape right so can you see the beak wings tail and legs so these all are the part of the body of the birds yes now how do birds fly they have wings instead of arms they have strong muscles attached to the wings birds are light because their bones are thin and hollow this help them to 
fly easily birds can fly because their body is well suited for flying tell me if we attach two wings on our body can we fly yes students tell me no we cannot fly because our body is heavy birds have light bodies that's why they can fly also their bones are thin and hollow hollow means what hollow means they have they are empty from inside have you ever observed a bird how does it look like can you tell me some other things that fly that fly in the air and it looks like a bird yes that's an aeroplane right if you see the shape of an aeroplane properly you will be able to notice that the shape of a bird as well as aeroplane is somewhat same it is narrow at the front and at the end and it is little bit broad in the middle this shape help them to fly easily here you can see the shape of the shape of an aeroplane and shape of a bird is little bit same now how do the birds fly to fly birds jump into the air it flap its wings to push itself upwards and forwards in the air it uses its tail to turn while flying and spread out its wings to stop do you know all the birds cannot fly birds with the heavier body like ostrich emu and kiwi also the peacock cannot fly too high yes there are more than 10000 different kinds of birds in the world few birds cannot fly like ostrich emu and kiwi hummingbird are the only birds that can fly backwards and do you know one more thing you can only turn your head half the circle but the owl can turn its head around 3/4 of a circle as we have discussed birds jump into the air to fly they use their feathers to fly now about the feathers feathers help the bird to fly feathers help them to keep their body warm feathers help them to stay dry as they are oily as we have hair on our body birds have feathers on their body birds are the only animals having feathers covering their whole body different birds have different types of feathers some birds have feathers of different colors arranged in a special pattern it helps in many ways they are light but they are very strong birds do not get wet because of the oil on their feathers you can see the picture of a peacock and the picture of a kingfisher bird you can see their feathers arranged in a special pattern yes now about the types of feathers birds have three kinds of feathers 
first one is flight feathers flight feathers are long feathers found in the wings and the tails of the bird they are used for flying yes this is the picture of a flight feather second type of feather is down feathers down feathers are the soft and fluffy they are found next to the skin they keep the bird warm this is a picture of a down feathers and the third type of feather is body feathers body feathers covers cover the body and gives their shape this is the picture of a body feathers yes now let us discuss some questions and its answers question number 1 choose the correct answer here four options are given for each question we have to choose the correct one question number 1 which among the following birds cannot fly yes which among the following birds cannot fly yes tell me children ostrich parrot sparrow or eagle yes the right answer is ostrich ostrich cannot fly so we will tick on the ostrich that is option a question number 2 which of these are functions of feathers help the bird to fly option b is keep the bird warm option c stop the bird from getting wet and option d is all of these yes children tell me what are uh, uh, which of these are the functions of feathers yes these all are the functions of weather so the right answer is all of this so i am going to tick on a all of this that is option d now question number 3 which among the following types of feathers gives shape to a bird flight feathers down feathers body feathers or all of this yes which among the following types of feathers give shape to a bird just now we have discussed this yes the right answer is body feathers so c is the right answer question number 2 fill in the blanks in that first one first one birds fly with their dash wings or eyes yes birds fly with their wings wings is the right answer so i am putting a tick on a wings question number 2 strong dash are attached to birds wings yes hands or muscles yes strong muscles are attached to to a bird's wings so i am putting a tick on a muscles question number 3 answer the following in that first one what is the shape of a bird what is the shape of birds answer yes what is the shape of the bird yes birds are narrow in front and broad in the middle question number 2 name things that has same shape as birds yes tell me children which thing has same shape as birds yes the right answer is aeroplane and rockets aeroplane and rockets has 
same shape as birds. Question number three. What is the first step taken by a bird in order to fly? Yes, children, think about the answer. Yes, the first step taken by the by a bird in order to fly is they jump into the air. Yes. Question number four. What is the second step for a bird to fly? Yes, the answer is birds flap its wings. to push itself upwards this is the second step for a bird to fly it flap its wings to push itself upwards and forward in the air question number 5 how does a flying bird land down yes think about the answer student how does a flying bird land down yes birds spread out its wings to stop birds spread out its wings to stop and now question number 6 which part of the bird is used to turn while flying yes which part of the bird is used to turn while flying the answer is tail birds use their tail to take a turn while flying yes in the next science session we will discuss about types of beaks types of feet and claws Thank you